So let's uh, dive right into Q and A. Q, Q and A. Uh, 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 uh. Questions and answers. <laughs> Not quality assurance? Could be. Ha <laughs> Questions and answers. Quacks uh, and asses. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I just came up with it. Sounds like something you don't want to Google search and have in your history as browser. <laughs> Quacks and asses. Quacks and asses. Quacks and asses. <laughs> Um, we've got on here holiday off season hours. Do's We're do's. just extending our conversation again. Well, yeah, we kind of tapped into a little bit. Uh, what do you do? Like, do you extend your hours? Do you shorten your hours? There's kind of like a little bit of a combo I hear. I see here as like seasonal versus like holiday hours. Yeah, um, a little bit different. Uh, I know this is gonna be shocking. Use your numbers. Use your data. You, you, so there's a lot of places I feel like are open an hour or two hours later than they need to be. Sure. And yeah, it's a bummer. You might upset the three people that come in late. But here's there's kind of like two aspects that I see out of this, right? Like close early because realistically you're probably not making enough money to have the lights on and be paying someone to be there. Yeah. So you should probably shut the doors down early. You also might make your employees happier because they get to be done with work earlier. Let's be honest. Being in the craft beer space that is generally done by 11 o'clock at the latest versus 2 a.m. at being a bar yeah. is awesome. Oh, so yeah. if now all of a sudden it's 10, most people aren't going to be that mad because guess what? They're probably slow and bored in that last hour anyways. They're not scrubbing toilets. They're not probably scrubbing the toilets. <laughs> they but might be. They might. Hopefully. They, yeah, uh, hopefully. The, other, the other aspect is, is like if you can kind of have a flexible, I don't want to call it a schedule, but say you're there. Say a party comes in or wants you to stay late. And if as an employee you're okay with it, then like let them stay late. Don't necessarily get on their asses about it. Like, so I think there's kind of a couple different ways you can conquer and divide this. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do think it's generally better as like a team to be united on the fronts of if you're a place that stays open for guests. That goes back to the whole consistency thing. Yeah, consistency is helpful. Maybe you want to stay late. Maybe I don't. Maybe sometimes I do. Maybe I don't. But yeah, yeah, that's hard. It is hard. And I also think you can be fluid with it, right? Like, in general, Bartani, I didn't really mind staying late, especially if I was like, hey, guys, like, I'm cleaning everything up. If you want to sit here until I have everything done and cleaned, cool. But you got to go when I'm done. Yep. Like, that I think is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get why some people are fine with staying open later. I get that as well. That that does give guests an opportunity to feel really special. Right. Uh, But there's also times when it's like, hey, I got shit to do. I want to go home. Like, and so there's kind of this ebb and flow. So I don't think it necessarily has to be an exact science. But I do think having your employees feel confident and comfortable in being able to express that and you having their back is all fine and dandy. So it's probably a smaller operation, right? That's not going to work for bigger yeah probably yeah yeah and, and there are hard things right like there was a place in boulder that we would love to go get food at but by the third time that they closed their kitchen two hours early yeah yeah kind of stopped going there for food could really bite in yeah can really bite in yes but that's also closing early we're not talking about closing early right? we're talking about adjusting your hours letting people know ahead of time yeah Closing on time. Google My Business is a real thing. (laughs) And for those of you that think it's hard to update, that's horse shit. It's pretty easy. (laughs) You just log in. It's pretty easy. Are you open on this date? Do you need to adjust your hours? Maybe. Yeah. And then again, if you need help, happy to help. Please just let us know. It's really that easy. Holiday hours, you know, if you've been open for a while, look at your numbers. If you haven't, look at what your people around you are doing. Yeah. Are, are you thinking like, um, like if Christmas, you're in a you... strip mall and everybody's closed and you're the only one open or just breweries in general or restaurants in general? Like what's everybody in the room yeah, doing? Yeah, like, thinking like breweries. Okay. Mainly. That's usually what you we're never talking know. You about. can get really specific. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. The Yeah, just like looking at what other places are doing around you. If you don't have the data to back because you're newer of like, hey, I should like, Close early, or maybe you open earlier and close earlier, like on specific holidays. Kind of check out what the other breweries and restaurants in your area are doing. Most of them are going to update their hours and just mimic mimic their plans. Like you can also go on the other the other road of if your employees are cool with being open and they're happy about that, then you can kind of do like, hey, everyone's closing at six, and we could be the only place open until eight o'clock. That could also benefit you. Yeah. It really just depends on your style of what you're doing. So I don't think there's necessarily a true do or don't. Mm-hmm. I think it's being transparent. 
And I think having the information out there for people to know is really what you need. You need to be able to like back it up. So transparency and consistency. You're out of the mic again. Yes, transparency <laughs> and consistency. <laughs> That, that, that's what I I'm it. talking about. What, what, what are your thoughts on it? I know no. you kind of had different experiences with staying late versus not staying late. Uh, worked with people that like love it. Some people that kind of like milked it. Yeah. Uh, where, where's your stance on it? Yeah, I mean, I was always happy to have the conversation of uh, what was the general vibe of the place. Um, you know, again, I've been by my last period that I was in, you know, I've been in it in and around the industry for a long time. So I'm kind of on the older side of things where I'm like, I'm ready to go home at nine o'clock. <laughs> Whereas there are people easily 10 years plus younger than me that are like, I don't care if I'm here till 11 or midnight. And I'm yeah. like, well, fuck, I don't want to be there that long. Yeah, you know yeah, what sure. I mean? But if we're willing to have a conversation because there are people that are consistently going to be there between, let's say, for example, the hours of nine and midnight. Okay. Yeah. Happy to do that, right? Because it's a collaborative team effort. Happy yeah. to do that. Yeah. But again, transparency and consistent communication. Let's have a conversation there's, there's, about it. Yeah. There's also a liability, right? If you close and you're, you have staff there and guests there two hours after they close. Oh, yeah. One, the place is probably not going to be getting cleaned well because now it's way too late. And they're probably two, drunk. They've probably been drinking and you have a whole slew of liabilities there. And like, does the person stay on the clock? kind of have to for per insurance wise right like you, they are and if they're clocking working. out right because they don't want to get into the tip pool well that's like a whole nother way that's a whole bag the whole bag so i i do think that it can be fluid within like a reasonable account right yeah. you know that, that's kind of how i would say yeah. it like, yeah i've always been, been open I, right i don't yeah. have that manager perspective uh like you do i mean yeah. but it just depends your vibe some places are real sticklers and i don't have any problem with places that are like no, nope. no, I'm closed. I'm out. I'm done. Like that's fine. That's, that's your vibe. At, at least the people know, you know, they're like, oh yeah, well they close at nine. Yep. They're kicking you out at a quarter to nine, whatever yep. it is. Yep. Or not serving you. They anymore. close at nine, but sometimes they're there at eleven. It depends on who's working. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm definitely more on the side of once your hours are closed, you shouldn't be letting any new people in the doors. It's one thing to kind of depends on who's there, unless you've had that conversation. Yeah, uh, I yeah, I, I do think it depends on who's there and what the conversation is. But I, I think in general, it's an even slipperier slope to be like, oh no, like all these people can come in, versus yeah. hey, you know what? There's some people here. Don't lock the doors. That's a fire hazard. But like, <laughs> but you do because you don't want anybody else, or maybe you don't. I yeah, don't know. like it, it's kind of a I don't know. It's, it's a touchy topic. I think some people are really sticklers on it. I think some people are more fluid. I know some of my best memories are from places that we did hang out later and we hung out with the staff. And it's it just, yeah, that's I, I have a hard time like completely poo-pooing on it because I do think that goes along with that community that you build and it goes along with that kind of mom pa vibe where you're not such a stickler on the rules. So I have a hard time completely poo-pooing it out, but I get why places do and I, yeah. I get why being flexible creates inconsistencies but there's i think there's just kind of a, a a fine a fine balance in there that works for you and your place that's fair that's all it is i like it the balance needs to be consistent yes the balance consistent. and consistent consistent balance yeah.